Assalamu alaikum students. Today we are going to do The Day the Dam Broke by James Thurber. James Grover Thurber was an American cartoonist, author, humorist, journalist, playwright and children's book author. He was best known for his cartoons and short stories published mainly in New Yorker magazine such as The Catbird Seat. So James Herbert was famous author because he used to write many interesting entertaining comic stories and articles in newspaper and books. He was also the person who used to make cartoons and because of these two things he became very famous in America. With these two mediums he also discussed many important issues among the public. Being the popular humorist of his time, he actually cel- celebrated the comic frustrations and eccentricities of ordinary people. This was the main topic usually in his writings, talking about in a funny manner about the madness and behavior of the common people in the society. The day the dam broke is actually one of his masterpieces and also the humorous story which James Thurber has written recalling one of the account which actually happened in his life in Ohio. The day the dam broke is a true account of an unfortunate day in Ohio in 1913. The rumor broke out in the city that the dam has broken and after that the chaos and panic spread like fire. What happened on that particular day or in uh, 1913 in Ohio was that one false news actually spread out in the city that the dam has broken and the water will flood the city which created a massive panic in the city and this news spread like fire. What happened next was the chaos. In this chaotic and panic situation, there was a lot of destruction which happened in that city. The humor short story is in fact a good example of Thurber's sardonic, that means ironic, but affectionate view of human behavior. He certainly with the use of humor exposes human behavior that how people behave and react in a panic situation. James Thurber has written this story in a humorous manner, but he also very gently and very lightly dealt with the irony and he discussed the human behavior in such a situation. That means he did not make fun of the human behavior. Instead, he just took a little humor out of it. And this is what we can see in his writing in this account. This story is also a true depiction of mob mentality. Thurber has narrated the experience of his aunt Edith Taylor and his own experience about the great run of the afternoon in Columbus City in a witty manner. Under the packet of wit and humor, the author highlights disastrous incident which happened just by a rumor. So this story is also a true picture of mob mentality. What is mob mentality? Mob mentality means when a crowd or a group of people think alike and act alike. On that particular day in Ohio, when the panic spread like fire, when the chaos break out in the city just because of this false news that the dam has broken, everyone was acting alike. No one was thinking sensibly and this is called mob mentality. When one, when ten people follow one and thousand and hundreds follow the others, 
that means it's a trend it, when it starts it takes everyone in it so this is called mob rule or mob mentality when everyone starts thinking alike and they all act alike and they don't say things separately this is actually what happens when you are in panic when you are in danger so he actually give out two accounts one of his own and one of his aunt edit taylor and there is another one in the story and it's all true this topic or this title great run given to that massive run of the people towards one side of the city was just named like it it was not organized great run it just happened because of that situation the fact was that that the resident of western side in the columbus city were as safe as kittens under a cook stove in spite of it the safety did not reduce in the least the fine despair which seized upon them the in reality what was happening that everybody was safe just like kittens under a cook stove but it never prevented the disastrous things which happened on that day the desperateness of people to save themselves and running towards the east so in this humorous story thurber actually points out what disastrous uh, thing happened on that day when just a rumor which broke out in the city made people mad with panic and they all acted alike later on when it was actually re- recalled nobody wants to talk about it they want to forget it ye wo story james thurber ne likhi hai jo actually inki zindagi mein ek jagah ohio city mein jahan wo rehte the hui thi wahan pe ek afwa phail gayi ke dam toot gaya hai aur ab pani jo hai sheher mein aa jayega aur sab kuch flood mein beh jayega itni si jo khabar thi ye kisne afwa phailai kab hui ye nahi maloom ho saka ke kab ye kis tarah se ye phaili khabar bas ye ek din us din is tarah se phaili ke pura city iske lapet mein aa gaya सब लोग एक तरफ भागने लगे अपनी जान बचाने के लिए और उस दिन किसी को ये बात समझ में नहीं आई कि डैम तो टूटा ही नहीं है पानी तो शहर में आया ही नहीं है तो ये खबर सच्ची है ये झूठी तो जेम्स थर्बर ने यहाँ पे इंसान की उस साइकी का जिक्र किया है कि जब इंसान अपने आप को ख़तरे में महसूस करता है तो फिर वो कुछ नहीं सोचता उसको कुछ समझ में नहीं आता और फिर वो वही करता है जो सारे कर रहे होते हैं इसको मॉब मेंटेलिटी कहते हैं यानी कि एक ग्रुप में एक ही सोच का पाया जाना और सबका उसी को फॉलो करना बगैर ये सोचे हुए कि ये गलत है या सही इस स्टोरी को लिखने के और भी अंदाज हो सकते थे लेकिन जेम्स सर्वर ने क्योंकि वो एक अच्छा तंज और मज़ा कर सकते हैं अपने लिटरेचर में अपनी लिखाई में तो उन्होंने इस चीज़ को एक तंजिया और एक मज़े के अंदाज़ में लिखा है जबकि इसकी जो पीछे छुपी हुई रियलिटी है वो बहुत ज़्यादा भयानक है क्योंकि जब बहुत सारे लोग भागते हैं तो स्टैम्पीड होता है यानी कि पाँव के नीचे आके लोग कुचले भी जाते हैं बिल्डिंग्स छोड़ के भाग जाते हैं जाने का मकसद के रिज़ल्ट ये होता है कि फिर आग भी लग सकती है और चीज़ें टूट भी सकती हैं गिर भी सकती हैं तबाही होती है ये सब कुछ उस दिन हुआ था लेकिन जेम्स थर्बर ने डिस्ट्रक्शन और डिज़ास्टर्स हैपनिंग्स का जिक्र नहीं किया सिर्फ उसने एक इंसानी कैफियत का जिक्र किया है कि जब वो ख़तरा महसूस किया लोगों ने उस दिन चाहे वो झूठी खबर थी या सच्ची थी 
सब लोग एक ही तरह से एक तरफ भाग रहे थे और उस वक्त किसी भी अक्लमंद शख्स के जहन में या अक्लमंदी का इजहार वो कैसे करता क्योंकि वो एक मॉब मेंटेलिटी के अंदर आ चुका था तो यहाँ जेम्स सर्बर ने बहुत एक्सपर्टली इस चीज़ की ह्यूमन साइकी और ह्यूमन साइकोलॉजी को एक्सप्लेन किया है कि हर इंसान ख़तरे में एक जैसा ही बिहेव करता है दीज आर फ्यू इम्पॉर्टेंट एलिमेंट्स विच ही हैज़ यूज इन स्टोरी फॉर एग्जाम्पल नंबर वन इज़ द आयरनी इट्स अ पार्ट ऑफ द फिगरेटिव स्पीच इट मीन्स द एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ वंस मीनिंग बाई यूजिंग लैंग्वेज दैट नॉर्मली सिग्निफाइज द ऑपोजिट टिपिकली फॉर ह्यूमरस एंड इम्फेटिक इफेक्ट दैट मीन्स आयरनी इज यूज वैन यू वॉन्ट टू से समथिंग एंड मीन समथिंग डिफरेंट ह्यूमर मीन्स द क्वालिटी ऑफ बींग अम्यूजिंग और कॉमिक स्पेशली इज एक्सप्रेस इन द लिटरेचर और स्पीच ह्यूमर मीन्स राइटिंग समथिंग फनी and this is uh, the other word for comic or funny writings that is humor the capacity for inventive thought and quick understanding or keen intelligence is called wit that means you are sharp enough to pick up the details of the present situation and talk about it very smartly this is called wit or having sharp wit rumor as explained before it is a uh, false news a currently circulating story or report of uncertain or doubtful truth this is called rumor mob mentality is uh, is called as a herd mentality it is described how human adopts behaviors and follow trends based on their circle of influence it explains how one's point of view can be easily changed by those around them this is the important element of the story that uh, mob mentality ruled the mind of all the people on that particular day when the rumor broke out and then the other thing which was ruling the whole town was the panic panic means having a sudden episode of intense fear that trigger triggers severe physical reactions when there is no real danger or apparent cause so panic is just a condition of human psyche that they get uh, afraid of things and react to it even that danger does not exist so these are the few elements which we will uh, find in his writing in the chapter the day the dam broke this is for this is for today thank you